Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about how to create Spark RDD and different ways to create a Spark RDD. Before we start, if you want to watch other videos related to Apache Spark, I am attaching the link to the playlist in the video description where I have explained the basics of Apache Spark as well. Now let us see the various ways in which we can create an RDD in Apache Spark. Basically, there are three ways to create an RDD in Apache Spark. The first way is by using parallelized collection. In Java or Python or Scala, whatever the language we use, we have a collection which can be a set or an array or a list or sequence. And we can convert that to an RDD using the parallelize function in Spark. If we use the parallelize function to read any collection, it will be converted into an RDD. Now let's try to create this RDD called RDD using parallelize in Apache Spark. Let me start my Spark shell. When we are using Spark shell, we already know that Spark context will be available in the form of SC. So we will use this SC variable to access parallelize method in Spark. After running this, we could see the RDD using parallelize variable is created as an RDD. So it means that whenever we use the parallelize function, which is given by Spark context, whatever the data or whatever the collection that we are going to read, it will be converted into an RDD. Now, in order to test this RDD one more time, we can call collect on top of this RDD. So the collect operation will work only on top of RDDs. So if this is not an RDD, if this is just a variable in Apache Spark, collect will not work. So let us try to run collect and see if it shows us some results. So collect on top of RDD is working, which means that this variable which we have created now using parallelize is an RDD. Here in this example, parallelize will split the collection into number of partitions and then distribute those partitions across the cluster, allowing for parallel processing. We can also specify the number of partitions as argument to the parallelize method and it defaults the number of cores on the worker nodes. Let us also try providing the argument which is the number of partitions. So I am running the same method and I am also giving it to take number of partitions are three. When I run it, so it is showing that it is created as an RDD. The difference between the two cases is in the second case, the RDD will have three partitions as provided by us. And we can also run collect on top of this RDD as well. So it will be working in the similar fashion. And the second way to create an RDD is by using external data sets. For example, we have our text or Avro or sequence or JSON file in our local system or HDFS or S3 or any distributed file systems or any other file systems. We read the file from Spark using text file method, which will convert the file into RDD. Let us try this as well. Now I am creating RDD from text file. I will use sc.text file method followed by the name of the file that I am going to read. So we can now see that this file is readed into again an RDD. So which means that when we use this method text file, whatever the data that is that we are going to read will be converted into an RDD. And let us run collect on top of this RDD and check if this is actually an RDD or not. From the above result, we can confirm that it is an RDD. And we just wanted to check if collect is working on top of this RDD or not. It is showing that the input file does not exist. The reason is I did not provide provide the full path to my file. Let me try once again. And it is also clear from this example that it did not throw any error when we are creating the RDD. But when we are calling the collect on top of this RDD, it's throwing error because RDDs are evaluated in a lazy fashion, which means that whenever we are doing any transformations or any read on top of the RDD, nothing will get executed. Only it will create a DAG so that Whenever we call an action like collect, it will be actually executed. And when we call the collect on top of the RDD, it actually executed the entire DAG and it printed out the error. Now I would like to provide the complete path to my file, which is this. And let me try to run now. So the RDD is created and let us print the RDD now. I am using collect on top of this RDD. 
now we are seeing the data which is present in inside this rdd so this is how we create an rdd using the existing file in any file systems and the other approach to create rdd is by using existing rdd for example we have our previous rdd which is already created which is rdd from text file now i would like to create one more rdd on top of this rdd rdd from existing rdd and i'll be creating this rdd from this text file rdd which is already created by applying map on this text file the new rdd that is going to get created will be an rdd on top of this existing rdd read from text file so what i am doing is in this text file which is already present in the previous rdd i am splitting this text file into words or the list of words so let me run this and you can see that this is also created as an rdd it's showing that it's of type r.apache.spark.rdd and rdd of array of string in the above case it's rdd of string here it is rdd of array of string because we use the split function and the entire sentence which is there in the previous rdd is split into words let us call collect on top of this rdd as well and we can now see that the rdd is created using another rdd so these are the three ways to create rdd in apache spark and this video is completely dedicated to creating rdds only thanks for watching see you in my next video